Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. God, we bless you. We magnify you, God, for this is the day that the Lord has made. God, we shall rejoice and be glad in it, God. God, I pray for my friends. I pray for my brother. God, I pray for my brother whose heart is heavy. Heart is heavy. Dealing with a loss. Dealing with someone that that was instrumental in him coming to this world. God, we ask that you strengthen his heart now. Strengthen the family's heart. As you know, God, you're the God of all comfort. You're the only one that can help in this time. There's no words that anyone can say, no act that anyone can perform that can make it any better. God, we trust you. God, we magnify you, God. God, but what the great thing about, even with loss, when the people that we lose, they're not dead, they're asleep. They're not dead, they're asleep. And as the scripture says, to be absent in the body is to be in the presence of God. And so, God, we find great peace in that. The fact that he's in, he's in God's presence. God, we thank you, God, that you said in your word that is appointed unto man to die. And after death, judgment. God, we want to get our cards in line. We want to get our heart right. We want to make sure that we're ready. We want to make sure, God, that we dot every I and cross every T, that, that we be ready. In saying that, God, if we've sinned, offended, hurt, or if we've done anything to anyone, knowingly or un unknowingly, God, God, we come before you to ask you to forgive us. Forgive us of the act. Forgive us of the error in judgment. Forgive us of this particular mistake. In Jesus' name, God. God, we thank you for forgiveness. God, we thank you for your mercy as well as your grace. God, because you said in your word that we could come boldly before your throne and where we can find help and mercy in a time of need. And in need, God, you said that you would always be our supply. God, supply all of our needs. Supply a need to those tears. You said in your word, God, that you would bottle those tears up. And you will reward according to our faithfulness. God, we thank you, God, that you never walked away from us. You never turned your back on us. Even with man and woman and whoever have walked away from us. When they've walked away in every turn, God, you've been there. You've been there, God. And we thank for God that you're faithful. You are El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh. God, you've always been a ram in the bush. When we needed you the most, God, you was that sacrifice. You created that sacrifice that we can come boldly before you where we can obtain help and find mercy. God, we need your mercy. God, we thank you. We appreciate your mercy and the same mercy that you've extended to us. God, we extend that same mercy to my brothers. We extend that same mercy to our sisters. God, help us to not fight 
and not try to hurt each other as a family, but learn how to help each other. The scripture says that we'll help us one to another. God teaches how to show love, push each other forward, and not find us operating in the arena of jealousy. Because the scripture said that jealousy is cruelty as the grave. Everything the grave does when a person dies, jealousy will do it. Long enough, the body will rotten. The body will stink. Rigor mortar will sit in. And can one be around? But it has to be buried six feet deep under. God, let, let us and let them whatever issue that they've had and how they've come through it, let them bury it six feet under the dirt. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus.